in the first place feel selfish and come to the conclusion, as a result of trying various experiments with love, that you love yourself more than anybody else. The proper thing to do is to investigate your self-love, to find out why you love yourself and what you mean by yourself when you say you love yourself. For the reason is this, love is not something that is a sort of rare commodity. Everybody has it. Existence is love. Uh, it's like water flowing through a hose. It depends in which direction you point it. Uh, so everybody has the, the force running. And maybe uh, the, for, the, the way in which you find the force of love operating in you is that you have a passionate like of booze or ice cream or uh, automobiles or good-looking members of the opposite sex, or even the same sex. But there is love operating. And uh, people, of course, tend to distinguish between the various kinds of love. There are good kinds, such as divine charity, and allegedly bad kinds, such as, uh, in quotes, animal lust. But it should be understood, I think, that they are all forms of the same thing. Everybody has it. They differ in rather the same way that the colors of light, of white light, divide into the spectrum when passed through a prism. So we might say that the red end of the spectrum of love is Dr. Freud's libido. And the violet end of the spectrum of love is agape, the uh, what is called divine love or divine charity. And that in the middle, the various yellows, blues and greens are friendship, uh, human endearment, consideration, uh, and all that sort of fellow feeling. But it's all the same thing. And so, uh, the thing is, first of all, to get it moving. To follow whatever kind of love you have in the first place. Because you cannot control love until you have some to control. Until you have it running. You've got to get your car running before you can learn how to drive it. You will not become a skillful driver by sitting at a still car in a garage any more than you will become a skilled dancer if you simply never move your arms and legs. And so, the, the first thing then is to discover what indeed you do love, if anything, and you will find there is something. And then, go into the nature of that.
Now it's said that selfish people love themselves. I would say that that is really a misunderstanding of the whole thing because yourself is something that is really impossible to love. There are various reasons for this, but one obvious reason is that loving oneself is as difficult as kissing your own lips. when you try to focus on it, to love it or to know it, is oddly elusive. It always slips away like uh, the pursued tail of a dog who is trying to get hold of his own tail. Now, to trust oneself to be capable of love, to bring up love, in other words, to uh, function in a sociable way and in a creative way, is to take a risk. It's a gamble.